get cozy everybody because today we'll continue on with a game called Jiko Rampa Lamets of Isolation. Oh wait, is that a fucking motorcycle? Go, leave now please. Let's continue shall we? Where were we? Here? Hang out with the others. Where do you want to go? Uh, the living room. We got these three. Backstage. Wanna go for Chiyuki again? Kitchen. These two. Wait, Daisaku's here? Alright, why not? Well, I guess it isn't the worst thing in the world you're missing an apostrophe. Just don't be so much of a fool that I get sick of you. Daisaku talking about how much he hated the place. I could have caught how many times he called D a fool or worse. I think Daisaku and I have gotten a little closer today. Well, Hanasaki, what did you want from me? Huh? People always want to push me into something. Just stop avoiding the obvious. Daisaku, it's not like that. Spit it out or we're done here. He won't believe me if I tell him that I want to be friends with him. I guess I should just be blunt, right? Yeah. Um, tell me about yourself. What about myself? Your favorite food? Your favorite animal? Your favorite season? You first. Huh? Go on. Hanasaki really likes saying huh a lot. Huh? <laughs> I'm okay. My favorite food would probably be strawberries. Aw, uh, strawberry shortcake were adorable. I grow a few and they're very satisfying to eat. I love snakes. Yeah, all snakes are awesome. I also love spiders too. Yeah, I'm a weird guy. There's an animal cafe in my town that has them. They may seem scary, but they're actually really sweet. And uh, spring is a stereotypical gardening season, so I guess it's my favorite season. Sorry, Anasaki, you're not going to be a match for my dating profile. <laughs> uh huh? I enjoy desserts made by a family friend. I despise most animals and I have no favorite season. Great compatibility. Oh. Joking aside, wait, so he was saying a joke? Wow, he can say a joke? My parents have tried to set me up with a hundred girls by now. Heard all of those basic questions before. The Saku's parents aren't that great, are they? Why would they try to set you up? I'm their only child without a significant other. Even my youngest brother is being manipulated into play dates with another girl. That's... Awful. You don't know the half of it. They want every child to continue their light of career and grow into marrying an egotistical asshole. And there's more issues than just that. If you're not interested in romance, they must be painful to go through being set up even more than it already would be. Along with being forced into something you hate. I'm sorry, Daisaku. Nah, no, whether I'm interested in romance or not isn't a problem, Hanasaki. But when you see a bunch of girls lining up at your door for the bonus of a good reputation, it's hard to see them as anything more than a nuisance. I kinda see his uh, struggles, but man, you're not in a dating uh, environment. <laughs> you're in a life and death situation, so I, I don't think anyone would be like would be lining up at, outside your door, just saying. And continuing the family line is out of the question either way. Even though I love my siblings, children are fucking monsters. Oh, tell me about it. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. I shouldn't have made an assumption. You make a lot of assumptions, Hanasaki. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. In any case, I don't recommend talking to me anymore. Your flirting is ridiculously obvious, but I guess your whole personality is like that. Ignoring that he accused me of flirting. How is my personality obvious? How you talk is one reason. You pause a lot. You're way too hesitant. But I can tell you're not just putting on a face with your lack of confidence. It's genuine. Huh? Didn't I say that I've met hundreds of suitors? I've gotten decent at spotting people's confidence levels. Half of them had a head that could barely fit under thin necks. The other half could barely make out a word before fading. My parents eventually got so desperate that even the girls who had no training for anything whatsoever were forced into a date with me. Frankly, I'd feel bad for them if it wasn't clear they just wanted my family's reputation on their side. In any case, an idiot like you might not comprehend a large portion of them that were so bad at acting confident that it made me laugh. Fake it till you make it. Need some time to actually work, but they didn't get the memo. I, I guess that makes sense. It does. That's why you should listen to me. Just stop talking to me. Leave your own life away from me. Why? You're a zombie, obviously. I don't want to be infected with whatever virus makes you this annoying. 
a zombie. <laughs> you looked somewhat dead when we first woke up, so maybe you're just an undead creature that's just really good at hygiene. I mean, I do try to have a decent hygiene, but I don't think that makes me a zombie. Zombie says what? What? Can you repeat that? <laughs> at least you're easy to trick. Trick? What trick? Ah, we're stupid. <laughs> we, can't, we can't pay attention to anything. It's hard for us to comprehend anything. <laughs> what do you think? Zombie says what? Zombie says what? Damn it, he got me. <laughs> we're so slow. What the hell? Moving on. We're not going to become closer with such bland questions and annoying responses, alright? At least get better material next time, alright? With a small chuckle, Daisaka walked away, and I was just left with confusion. Becoming closer to him is going to be difficult, isn't it? Soon, I headed back to my room. After passing the time, I thought about what to do next. That didn't last long though because I soon received a single knock at my door. Huh? I headed to my door, hesitantly gripping the handle and pulling my door open. What is this? I kneeled down, spying a small piece of paper. It simply said, Meet me in the laundry room in 10 minutes. Don't be late. After reading the note, I quickly glanced down the hall to see if there was anybody there, but I couldn't spot anybody. I sat before closing my door and tightly gripping the note. Should I listen? You mean should I follow it? <laughs> Because the, the note does not make a sound. <laughs> or does it? Is this a futuristic uh, environment <laughs> where everything is hologram powered or something? Yeah, futuristic stuff. This note has no name on it. Why would somebody contact me anonymously? Because we're gonna get attacked. Somebody isn't planning murder already, are they? Uh -huh. I guess I would be the most typical target here. Too weak and too trusting. I shouldn't be surprised. Then don't go there. Still, I shouldn't go alone. Yeah, don't go alone. Have someone else come with. But who would want to go with me? I don't want to bother Daisaku or Chiyuki too much. Why not them? I just asked for their free time. Most others probably won't be a good idea, considering the conflict may make them harsh towards me. Maybe Mayumi? She still seemed neutral in the conflict, all things considered. I just hope she's not busy. Folding the note and hiding it in my sleeve, I walked out of my room and into the hall. I took a deep breath and knocked on Mayumi's door. After a few seconds, it opened. Hikari? Oh, hey, Ryu. Um, what are you doing in Mayumi's room? Before Ryu could answer, Mayumi appeared beside him. Salutations, Hikari. Ryu and I had been reading a horror novel together. It is quite intriguing how knowledgeable he is regarding the subject of horror. Cool. I doubt it, really. It's just a popular horror story that I read a bunch as a kid. Not much worthwhile about that. Nonsense, Ryu. Your taste in literature is compelling and intriguing. Though I mostly am particularly devoted to the genres of romance and fantasy, as an aspiring author myself, I appreciate every genre. Thanks, Miss Mayume. Um, I'm sorry to bother you two then. You must be busy, so... Not to worry, Kari. If you have any issues or worries at all, I will not leave you perturbed. Pertur I can't pronounce that word. Why did, what do you require of me? As a compassionate heroine of this mansion, it is my duty to follow your requests. Oh, um, I'll help too, Miss Mayumi. Shouldn't have to do all the work alone. Oh ho ho, you shall be a knight in training, I see. Half see, because you got your other eye closed. <laughs> a knight? I am, I'm not sure if I'm ready for all that. Nonsense, I believe in you, Ryu. I believe in your greatness and capableness. You really think I'm capable of protecting somebody like that? Uh-huh, you are a bright illumination, Ryu. Is it Ryu Ryu? I don't. <laughs> Maybe it's because of the W. It just goes for Ryu or something. Your potential shines across the world, akin to the reach of the sun. If you are comfortable with it, we shall assist Hikari, and you will be an excellent knight. You may consider this your training, my great ally. Right, we'll help you, Hikari, with anything. I am prepared to do whatever it takes. Oh, really? Uh, thank you. I pulled the note I received out of my sleeve. I received this a few minutes ago. It's anonymous, and it says I should go to the laundry room soon. Oh my, this is quite the fearsome situation. Yeah, that is. Were you targeted for a murder? I hope not. I am not certain of what we shall do. On one hand, it risks your well-being if we head there, so it would be in the interest of you to not go at all. On the other, it may prove beneficial to our group as a whole if we were to discover the identity of who had sent this note. It is quite a predicament, but it is your decision, Hikari. 
However, if you decide to go, I shall accompany you. Your life shall not be within the treacherous reaches of any others while I am by your side. Me too, Mr. Mayumi shouldn't do all the hard work all alone. I just hope that it's not really what we think it is. I'll go. Oh, you shall? Yep. I mean, if somebody did really plan to murder me, we shouldn't let them go free, should we? I don't mind being at risk if it'll help the group overall. I, I see. Well, it is so then. We shall head to the laundry room immediately. We won't uh, let you get hurt, not to worry, Hikari. We two and I shall protect the princess. Ah, oh, <laughs> she's so adorable, thank you. Soon the three of us headed out. When we arrived at the living room, Mayumi's hand tightly gripped the handle. She seemed hesitant and looked back towards me. Are you sure about this, Hikari? I think so. No, I am sure, don't worry. If I ended up as a victim, would it really matter that much? If my death was worthwhile to somebody else here, then maybe. Wait, it's, it's just a bit too loud on my end. Let me just... Volume fix. There we go. Understood. Ready yourself. I shall enter first, but stay nearby. Ryo and I nodded, and so the three of us entered the laundry room. The laundry room was dark, so the lights were presumably turned off. Mayumi held out her arms in front of Ryo and I, quietly making her way into the center of the laundry room. Who is? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Right, who, who is that? Your life's on the line, mortal soul. May a foolish mortal such as you made a gruesome end, filled with years of suffering and anguish, never to see a single light again. Hmm, terrifying. Uh, cuff, cuff, really adorable though. Cuff, cuff. Colette? Wait, what? What are you doing here, Mayumi? Ryu, may you turn on the lights? Dot, dot, dot. Ryu, are you alright? I... I quickly headed towards the light switch in the room, flipping it on. Somebody came out of the closet just the light... what? Just as the light returned to the room. We're missing the word ass. Colette, why the fuck? Wait, what? What are you two doing here? Only Shortcake got that note, didn't she? May I ask what you two were planning with such a note? We were planning to give Hikari a terrifying experience. Well, it's terrifying that a mortal as inexperienced as Maun can be. But it's all in good fun, you know. A divine presence is allowed to have recreational moments. Your form of entertainment is in incredibly bad taste. A mysterious note with little to no detail about the circumstances in a situation where our lives may meet a cruel end. Did you not comprehend how much trouble this could have caused Hikari? And Ryu, you heard him as well. How could you believe pranks such as these are to encourage any fun for an individual except yourselves? Well, we signed it and told Hikari we prepared some fun for her, didn't we? It shouldn't have been that much of a shock. Crap. Mom, why did you say crap? Well... You didn't sign it, did you? Well, I, uh... And you made it extremely vague? Well, I guess, some um, shit. <laughs> So I'm guessing the plan you two came up with didn't go well? Actually, this mortal persuaded me to give her pursuits in trickery and chicanery a chance. She has failed my expectations. Hey, you little fuck, don't ram me out like that. So this is your doing, Maun. Hey, just wanted to have some fucking fun. I didn't mean to scare the crap out of your friend there. My pranks are supposed to be fun for both parties. A divine such as I will not accept this failure, Maun. You have much more to learn as a disciple of I. Be aware of your future actions, mortal. In any case, you shall not do this again, you hear me? Whatever, you guys are fucking lame. This was an awesome prank idea because I'm fucking awesome. Great argument. Solid. Can't... <laughs> can't really debate on that. <laughs> I don't need any of your shits. Mom walked off, punching the wall before doing so. She really seemed to be peeved. I'll be waiting for you, Cherry. The ladies always come back. Well, only because I stole their soul, but same difference. Is she going to be mad for a while? On my back, don't forget to stretch, boys. God damn it. Ow. Nah, she usually cools off in half an hour. I mean, I've pranked her like 10 times already, and she still hangs around me. Aw, she likes you. <laughs> Disregarding Mao's disgraceful behavior. Are you alright, Ryu? I'm not. Oh gosh, you're shaking. I'm sorry for putting you through this for you. I suppose a queenly divine like myself, the feeling of fables, may make mistakes. I owe you three a humble apology for my servant's tremendous failure this very day. My victim's momentary fear or a pleasure to view upon 
But as a great god of trickery and chicanery, genuine fear is against my regulations. My service misdeeds are due to a lack of detailed observation on my end, so I shall redeem my honor. I accept your apology, Colette, but you'll have to talk to Ryu too. To repay for what you did, Colette, you must assist me in helping him calm down, and cause him to be in a paralyzed state of panic. Yep, got it. So what are you gonna do? Mayumi helped Ryu out of the laundry room to which Colette and I followed. Mayumi helped him onto the couch and sat next to him. Ryu, is there anything we may be able to do to assist you? Come on, you can do it, fella. Ryu shook his head. He seemed too panicked to speak. We'll, uh, stay by your side, Ryu. If that is alright with you, I mean. Is that a yes? Ryu nodded. Yep, I think that's a yes. We shall be here for you, Ryu. We shall not harm you, and we shall make certain nothing harms you. How do you last long in the in the real world? Like, you know, uh, interacting with people and stuff, or were you just uh, in your artist room all the time doing artist stuff? Oh, great! The neighborhood cat is here. Hey, neighborhood cat! I got a deal with the neighbor's dog. Now the neighborhood cat as well. I hope you don't mind all that meowing because I don't feel like going out. Over the next few minutes, we stayed by Ryu's side and stayed calm, giving him time to calm down. That's redundant. Calm, calm, calm. All during it, what? Mayumi repeated her promises that Ryu is safe again and again. I wish she could comfort people as well as her. After some time, Ryu gained control of his breathing and started to speak. I'm sorry, Miss Mayu. I'm such a coward. You are not resembling to a coward in the least, Ryu. I promise you with the fullest depths of my heart, you are not a coward. A coward is an individual who only seeks to place blame and scorn upon others. As a kind person, Ryu, you are not a coward at all. Kind? Indeed, you wished to be a knight with me, did you not? Despite your fear, you persevered and stayed to assist Hikari. You are not a coward for feeling uncertain. You are not weak for feeling unsafe in certain situations. You are human, not a burden nor a disgrace in any way. You are my friend, Ryu. Thanks, Mayumi. Hell, even if you did get freaked out, not your fault. We're in a game of death. You're bound to be a little scared. My new servant was ignorant in her methods of reaching out towards the souls of mortals. So it is her whom you must curse, Ryu, not yourself. A knowledgeable mortal such as yourself shall easily be fit to gain vengeance upon my servant, I believe. Vengeance? Eh, that might be going too far. But I don't know. Are you sure it's not my fault? It isn't, Ryu. I brought her here in the first place. If anything, I am to blame for making you and Mayumi join me. Well, better than being killed. <laughs> I ruined Colette's prank and made you all stay here while I freaked out. If I wasn't such a coward, then... Then? You did not ruin a thing, mortal. Human souls are bound by their fear, yet they also seek to rejoice in the horrors of this world. All mortal individuals carry different limitations upon their soul. Your soul is powerful, but all souls have weaknesses, even one from a pristine and godly being such as myself. Still, I wish I wasn't such a coward. I just never want to experience something like that again. I want to have fun with you too, but how can I when I'm like this? Then I suppose I shall grant you with my divine presence and present an alternative. An alternative? Yeah, she just said that. Indeed, your eyes shall view upon the most horrifying of image sequences accompanied by the most morbid of music and sounds. Are you talking about a horror movie? Mortals such as yourself bestow such lame names upon horrifying activities, but I suppose so. To make up for the misdeeds of mine, I, the feline of fables, invite you to a once-in-a-lifetime meeting. We shall become entranced by a marathon of foreboding, life-shattering displays of violence and paranormal happenings. Oh, you wish to have a movie marathon? Such intelligent mortals. I suppose I am open to such a thing. What do you think, Ryu? I'd uh, like that a lot. Horror movies are so fun to watch, so yeah, I think that'll be good. What about you, Mortal of Flora? Do you wish to accompany me in a horrifying escapade? I'm not too big on horror movies. It does sound fun, but I'll probably only worsen the experience for them. Nah, nah, it's okay. You guys can have fun. I'm not that big on horror anyways. Ah, if you're upset, Hikari. I am, don't worry about me. Thanks for the offer, though. You are welcome, mortal. If you do ever wish to sacrifice your mortal soul for me, just say my ancient name three times in a row. Ancient name? I cannot say it out loud. You'll have to delve deep within your soul to seek out the answer. I I'll try. Oh, ho, may your pursuit of discovering my true power be successful, dear mortal. 
and I shall assist Ryu in discovering your true abilities as well. You shall not remain covert from us, Colette. I know it will be successful. Nobody uh, knows horror better than I do. Oh my, does a divinity such as myself have a challenger? You shall not leave unscathed then. Eventually, I snuck away and returned to my room. I waited for a bit as I wondered if I should have said anything different, but in the end, I shook away the thought. I should have some free time for a bit. Let's hang out. Laundry. Wait, what are you doing here alone? Ballroom. Technology room. Are you me? Yeah. Would you like to spend time with me? I shall happily oblige. Mayumi and I spent some time discussing our situation, but she reassured me that she'll be here to protect me no matter what happens. Yeah. I think Mayumi and I have gotten a little closer today. Ah, you possess one of the purest smiles of all. I am so delighted you wish to be my companion in this moment. Ah, oh, <laughs> she's adorable. My smile is pure. I don't see how you can pinpoint such a thing. A true heroine is capable of viewing the inner hearts of those around her, you know. You behold a heart that is open and beautiful, desiring peace and happiness for all. Amida Saki does not lie, Hikari. How does seeing into um, my Saki work like that? You always question everything. <laughs> oh my, you possess curiosity as well. A desire to learn, explore, to persevere and become open. It is very easy though. You simply have to look at body language, small behaviors, and how they present themselves towards others. That sounds kind of complicated. <laughs> Hmm, I shall elucidate then. For a clearer sense of understanding, I shall use your attributes as an example. You can very frequently have closed off body language, though rubbing your arm is an action that is notably common for you, from what I have observed. Closed off body language may hint that you may often feel as if you are in a vulnerable position, though you may not notice such emotions. Eek, that's unexpected. My apologies if I made you uncomfortable. I shall not elucidate any longer if your sense of trepidation may worsen. No, don't worry, it's actually kind of interesting. It is very intriguing, I agree. I shall continue, but let me know if you ever desire for my explanation to halt, alright? Mm hmm. With your clothing, you undeniably have a favorable opinion on flora, whether it be aesthetically or personally. If it had been just your shirt with a pattern, it may have been a coincidence. But the similar flowers in your shoes and the one in your hair express a distinct choice. You wish to keep your outfit consistent putting effort into such consistency. You clearly care about that outfit in some manner, correct? Oh yeah, I specifically look for shoes with similar flower patterns to my shirt. I did make my flower hairpin myself though. Uh huh, I was correct. Though if I had no knowledge of your spashes from the tablet's information, it was a possibility that it was simply an outfit you found appealing and bought it. So not all my analysis may end in an accurate conclusion. Still, you're amazing. How do you do it, Mayume? I am from both the present and the past at once, and we are specially connected through our minds. Eek, that, that can't be true. <laughs> Don't believe things. Don't believe things so easily, Hikari. <laughs> Perhaps it is true, a hero may come from many different origins. You're confusing me. Oh my, I apologize, Hikari. Wait, now I recall everything. Is this the power of our connection? Wait, what do you mean? That was a... Uh... Just kidding, aha, she, she finally made a joke. Oh, uh -huh, you have fooled this heroine. But I was correct, your smile is pure and bright. Mayhaps even be the purest of all. <laughs> That's right, you did say that. I still don't know why you think that though, because you're adorable, look at you. Ah, I cannot say for sure. You can only divulge so much into your outer attributes after all. But you are not utterly aggressive and you do not aim to hurt others. You are closed off and may feel pressured to keep yourself from being vulnerable. So when you genuinely smile, it brings a rare light. The purest smiles to myself are once beheld from those who have trouble smiling at times. Genuine smiles, huh? Mm -hmm. I pride myself in helping those around me reach those smiles. No heart shall long for happiness while I am present. My heart shall protect the fragile ones, especially a heart from a maiden like yourself, Ikari. What about Toshi? His heart, <laughs> his heart ain't doing too good. <laughs> wow, you're like a brave knight. If I behold the esteemed title of knight, you are the princess I am assigned to protect. Maybe so, but I'm not that great at all. You're so smart and charismatic, but I'm just nothing like you. I see. Let us commence writing. Huh? 
Literature is the most compelling way to see into one's heart. If you commence writing alongside myself, I promise you shall see what I see. How do you know that? Oh, you must be quite curious, but I cannot reveal my hand just yet. Even if the system surrounding poetry is no longer in place, that does not hold us from pursuing such activity simply as a form of recreation, correct? I guess so. Mm -hmm. Next time we meet Hikari, we shall begin. Ah, I guess I can't stop you. Oh, you cannot stop my compassion, for my heart longs for yours forevermore. If you think it might help me see the same way you do, I guess I'm not against it. Excellent, prepare yourself, Hikari. Is she, is she gonna punch me in the face? Mayumi took off jumping excitedly as she wandered away. I definitely have to prepare myself. Everyone always leaves me behind. I'm not doing the one walking away. <laughs> Soon I headed back to my room. After passing the time, I was in bed simply staring at my ceiling. It's been almost three days. It, is it odd? I've already somehow gotten used to staying here, to staying in this bed. Well, not exactly gotten used to, but more like I'm not totally uncomfortable here. In some ways, it gets more comfortable than being home. Noki, Mom, where are you to right now? Would you to even notice me being gone? For some reason, I still miss you. I don't know why. But most people must miss their family and friends, right? Everybody here, we're all in the same situation, and yet we all have so much conflict already. I just pay what to say nobody will kill, that nobody will even think of sacrificing another life. But deep down, I know that's just a foolish thought process. Daisaku, why did you do what you did? Why did you purposefully break the rules? If I really analyze his behavior, I can make a guess, but I don't want to make any assumptions about him. If my assumptions turn out to be wrong, then I only make things even harder to patch up. I should try to look for him. Maybe he's calmed down enough to answer some questions. Maybe. After some thinking, I headed out of my room in search of Daisaku, briefly passed by some others during my search, waving to them as I passed. But I was only focused on one thing. After a few minutes of searching, I managed to end up in the infirmary. Both Chiyuki and Daisaku were there. Chiyuki, Daisaku, what an odd couple. <laughs> Hello, Hanasaki. Greetings, Hikari. Am I bothering you two? If so, I'm sorry, I'll just... Uh oh, what the hell was that? That, that was probably nothing, nothing, nothing. N no, you're not bothering us. Please stay, Hikari. I don't control what you do, Hanasaki. You will be a persistent nuisance to me either way, wouldn't you? Hikari is not a nuisance. We, we must not insult one another, Daisaku. Please. No, it's okay, Chiyuki. But what are you two doing here? Are you alright, Daisaku? I'm fine. Utazumi forced me here for some unknown reason. I was simply wishing to know your condition. Your physical condition will still not be perfect, Daisaku. I simply worry about you. I tell you I'm fine. Will you please stop pushing it? I suppose so, if you truly are insistent on it. Finally, is that it? Can I finally go back and have my peace? If I don't get to my room soon, the group of fools including Kageyama and everyone else may threaten my peace of mind even more. I just barely managed to escape their incessant questions. What idiotic individuals. Please do not insult them, Daisaku. You are justifiably angry, but their point of view is also... But they're what? Are you going to join their ludicrous accusations? No, I simply want to be on everyone's side. You do not deserve such harsh accusations, but I understand their point of view as well. How foolish was I to think you were any different? Being neutral isn't really going to help anybody, is it? Being neutral is just as good as being a bystander when somebody's being harassed. <laughs> a bystander? No, it's not like that, I assure you. But come on, Daisaku, let us be positive. We can join together and collaborate. Nothing bad will happen if you simply... Wait, sorry, uh, if I'm out of the line, but... I agree with Chiyuki to an extent, but we'll get nowhere trying to force Daisaku into listening to us. We shouldn't push him so much, Chiyuki. That was what we said earlier, that we'd give him time to calm down. Well, I... I suppose so, but... But what? Hanasaki is the one with sense here. Why are you suddenly being so insistent? But any conflict is truly terrible. All people here must be satisfied with a solution, so it will not end well if you merely insult them and move on. Please, Daisaku, just please, at the very least, look at it from their view as well. You do not have to accept it, but please, try. It is important to me that nobody here has a conflict within the group. Conflict? Really? I just cause conflict everywhere I go, don't I? Whatever. I just have to accept being forced into everything, don't I? You must not look at it from that perspective, Daisaku. I am concerned for every individual here, including yourself. 
That contradicts what you said earlier. You said my hesitance was understandable, didn't you? And now you're saying that my perspective isn't right? Haha! <laughs> Are you so bad of a liar you can't even keep your pathetic story straight? I was willing to give you a chance, but look at you. Just the same as the others. Just seeing me as a pawn of whatever ludicrous conspiracy you deem fit for me. No, I... I... Naisaku is hurling accusations at Chiyuki while Chiyuki seems to be shaking. I shouldn't let this go on. It is Chiyuki who Daisaku should be mad at. I'll be going. You fools don't deserve my t- Stop. Don't blame her, Daisaku. What? Out of everyone- Wait, cool. <laughs> it mirrors what Daisaku did in the previous uh, video. Previous playthrough. <laughs> Out of everyone, she was the only one who was willing to give you a chance. She isn't to blame here. You directing insults back at her isn't going to make everyone's suspicions suddenly fade away, is it? She's trying so hard to help you, and you taking advantage of her words isn't making you look any greater of a person, okay? And and she isn't to blame here. Nobody else is. Huh? You must have had your reasons for doing what you did, so I'm sorry. But don't take your frustrations out of what I caused on Chiyuki. She did nothing wrong. And I understand why you don't want to tell me anything about your reasoning, but at least tell her. You hating me so much should have nothing to do with her or anybody else. Understand? Hanasaki. I know I've probably messed up things so much that it's beyond repair, and that I'm to blame for everything going wrong. Hello, neighborhood cat. Can you keep it down quite a bit? And I'm sorry for that, but... Just stop talking. You did nothing wrong, you idiot. Huh? I was to blame for every half-witted moronic decision that was made that day, you understand? I was fully forever pretending like you did a single thing wrong, so just stop acting like you did. What? What are you talking about? I'm a fool. That should be obvious by now, right? But even if you are not responsible for any of my foolish choices, I still won't be deceived by you lot, understand? You don't need to know my weaknesses or my faults. You don't need to know anything about me. So just stop lying to yourself and lying to me. Lying any longer would just be as foolish as the decisions I made. What reason would I have to lie? You all are convinced I am a traitor, aren't you? Anything I say or do will just be used against me. So what's the point? What's the point of even trying to defend myself? Defending myself, trying to satisfy others, just always ended up as the worst option. The worst option? Are you alright, Daisaku? What does it look like? I nearly died because of my own idiocy and made myself hated by everyone in the process. Defending himself was always the worst option. What is he talking about? I have an idea of what it might be, but I shouldn't over-speculate. I could be wrong. What if we stay quiet? Wait, let me just check real quick if everything is going smoothly. Yep, yep. What if we stay quiet? How would that help the situation at all? Are you seriously looking to be a victim of my insults? That's not what I mean, Daisaku. If we stay quiet and let you talk, will that help? We won't interrupt you and we won't question you. We will just listen and talk when you tell us to. Daisaku seemed to realize something as he let out a brief gasp. It was followed by silence. <gasps> silence. <laughs> if it will help you, I will do the same as well. Fine. Wait, really? I suppose I'll spare some time for you two fools and tell you as much as I am able to. But I will allow brief questions for the beginning. For the beginning? I'm not sure where to start. And I won't say everything. Some of it is personal. I understand, Daisaku. Hey, you just said you won't say anything. <laughs> I guess my hunch was right, in some way. That Daisaku experienced similar feelings that I experienced at one point. Thank you, Ikari. Thank you, Daisaku. Hey, she, he, she just said to not talk. <laughs> Keep quiet. Since you want us to start, I'll ask a simple yes or no question. Are you in any way related to the killing game starting? I suppose from an outside perspective, it does look that way, doesn't it? But no, I am not a traitor. I am not related to this game of that asshole robot. Does a robot even have an asshole? Just asking. Asking for a friend. <laughs> that's, that was, that's stupid. That, oh, that line came out wrong. Oh god, don't clip that. When you announced the game to Kurosato yesterday morning, Hanasaki, I hardly believed it. Simply thought Kurosawa was being naive to listen to something that sounded so ludicrous. But when Kageyama informed me of it this morning, when I look at the rules being changed on the tablet, I don't know why that piece of metal saved me. I don't know why any of this started and, even though it made sense to my moronic brain at the time, I don't know why I deliberately broke the rules. Well, I do know why, but it's something that would be painful to delve into. I don't want to remember my mindset at that point. 
I'm done. So you really don't know anything, huh? Could easily be lying, but with all that I know now, I think I could make somewhat of an assumption as to what his reason was. He looked incredibly panicked at the thought of being forced to stay here two days ago, and he guessed the punishment would be fatal. Thank you for telling us, Daisaku. I don't understand why that would be worth thanking me for. It's just another pile of useless words that won't help anybody. In the end, every single word is just a word. What the hell? It is alright, Daisaku. None of what you said will be useless to us, because what you have said had mattered to you, did it not? I wish for you to feel comfortable in the group, and not feel like every individual here is conspiring against you. I understand why you feel that way, and so, I will make it my utmost priority to bring you out of this dark. I am truly sorry for not realizing how fearful you truly were regarding every individual suspicion beforehand. It's not your fault, for me being such a fool. The three of us talked briefly for some time discussing in peace rather than with the same tension as before. It was a relief. I was still uncertain with everything when we returned to our rooms for the night and... Daisako still isn't exactly nice yet, but I think we made some progress today, in him trusting Chiyuki and I, at the very least. If my intuition is correct, then maybe I can guess what his reasoning for everything he did. Defending himself was always the worst option for him, huh? I know what he means, I think. I should sleep. Well, okay. Oh, is the mic on again? Hello, my wonderful guest. I hope you all are having a great night full of nightmares and crying. Well, no, we haven't had that yet. You know, I'm not sure if anybody can even hear me. But with what Fuyuka said, do you think there is a traitor? Somebody that I work with? Somebody they care about? I can't say she's wrong, but... What fun would it be to give you the answer so early? Since I can't kill everybody right off the bat, might as well make everybody suffer with waiting, too. Who do you think it is? No matter what you might answer, can't confirm or deny unfortunate as it is. Let's see, let's see, the most suspicious one, the most suspicious one, ah, blah, 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 blah. There is a possibility that the assassin person is also uh, putting up an act, you know? I forgot their name. They discovered a lot, they investigated a lot, they know what they're doing, so... I mean, yeah, they're the most capable, but also the most suspicious as well. But since we got Daisako here, who's like a traitor, uh, kinda, and also sh she's the one who brought it up that Daisako was the one who did the thing that started the killing game. Just saying, it takes suspicion off of her if she brought that up, and that's what's happening right now. Nobody suspects the assassin. Yeah. <laughs> but tomorrow you'll have something worse to focus on. I hope you're looking forward to that. Have a good rest. Goodbye. Okay. Da, dot dot dot. Ding ding ding. Huh? What's that noise? I slowly opened my eyes and forced myself out of bed at the sudden noise. What's this? There's a small strange device on my desk near my bed. It almost looks like a phone of some kind. It only has a symbol that looks like a play button on the screen, though. Out of curiosity, I touch the screen once and... Uh-oh, who's that? Is that, um, Naoki? Naoki? Oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah, I remember the name. Holy shit. Great job, me. Oh, no. Naoki, what did happen to you? We can talk this out. You don't have to... Shut up. Please, I know you're better than this. You really don't. You don't remember everything that happened, do you? No, I don't, but... I'm so tired, Naoki. Tired of all of this. How do you know? Who is this person? Is that is that us? No, it's impossible. We don't have we don't have that kind of hair in a silhouette. <laughs> oh wait, is that a nose? Maybe. I just I just want to leave already. Don't you know that? Can't you help me finally put an end to all of this? Aren't we friends? I I don't The video cuts off there, but in the last few seconds I heard a scream. <laughs> that was me. That was my manly scream. What was that? That was a video of our brother who screamed. Naoki, why was he in a video? Why Why was he bleeding? He got beat up probably. What happened to him? Got beat up probably. And who was that person in Masaki? The person who beat him up. The video just showed there appears all that much, but yeah, he was beating Naoki up. Did that person hurt him? Yeah, he was beating Naoki up. I don't know how to feel. I know I don't have the greatest opinion on him, but if he got hurt, I don't know what I do. But why would a video of him getting hurt be here in the first place? 
Hello everybody, is this thing working? Well it better be because it seems that most of you have watched your videos and to the guests who refused to watch it and instead kept yelling my name again and again, you would see me in detention if we had detention here. Anyways, were the videos traumatizing, terrifying, trepidation inducing? Perfect. You must all be wondering what all things in your videos meant, so don't worry. I'll explain it all a little better when you get to the ballroom. Attendance is mandatory or I'm giving you detention for real. Just a very deadly detention that you don't come out. Ever. Anyway, see you there. So do you put these videos here? Hopefully we'll get an explanation. I need an explanation. Sighing, I left my device on my desk, prepared myself quickly and left my room. When I entered the ballroom, most people were there already or entered right after me. Most people were visibly shaken. What the fuck? This fucking robot. God damn it, where is that piece of scrap metal? You won't fucking get away with this. The uh, could have injured her, could they? What I saw can't be real. Everyone, please calm down. We can't let ourselves be absorbed by this fear. We can't. Right? How could we possibly do that? This fool of a machine is sick. Calm down, everyone. We need to not let ourselves be shaken up. Ah, yeah, I'm suspecting you to be a traitor. You can show your reactions after we get an explanation from Dia. I'm grateful that somebody here is capable of keeping calm, but... Please teach me your method of staying calm, for you. Warriors need to be able to stay brave in the face of danger, so I want, I want to learn. It'll prove beneficial if we could all learn something. Ow, my back. I don't know what possible explanation there could be for videos besides something terrifying. By the way, aside from my back hurting, you should also stay hydrated, fellas. Drink lots of water. Sorry if this question bothers you, but uh, how can you even stay calm, Fuyuka? You all heard Dia mention somebody not watching their video, correct? I see, that was you, huh? Correct. I saw no reason to click on a strange device that appeared out of nowhere. It is clear that all of you are more naive than I expected, so it may prove that further actions are difficult to pursue. Hey, can I ask something? What is it? Dia mentioned videos, and you all look shaken up, so I can assume some pretty gory stuff or something is in them. But I didn't get one. What? You didn't get one? How? Don't know if I get to know what's on these videos, then maybe I'll have a clue. Oh my, if the main subject of my video is similar to the others, then Subaki, I believe I know why you did. Aha! Because Subaki doesn't have anyone in her life! <laughs> oh. Oh. I, well, at least you didn't get any video. <laughs> Hello, my gorgeous guest. It's a wonderful morning, isn't it? Yes, it is. The sun you can't and will never see again is shining. The birds will likely never hear are singing. Just wonderful. Damn, even as a god, I know how to read a room better than you. Read a room? Did somebody vandalize the walls with words? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. You better be joking. There's no way an artificial intelligence can be this irrational and oblivious. Huh, of course I'm not irrational and oblivious. Such rude, yes. I'd kick you all out if you weren't paying. Uh, and also if I had any legs. <laughs> what exactly are you paying with? Your lives, obviously. Anyways, you all must be wondering what you saw in those videos. Uh, of course we are. What did you do with my mums? And why the fuck would you hurt innocent people? That lady has nothing to do with me, damn it. Me? Hurt them? You must be mistaken. It is true, the second person in the video I received definitely wasn't Dia, but e even if you didn't hurt them directly, you had something to do with it. Oh, but don't you fucking dare try to refute us, you knockoff cyborg. How the hell did you get footage like that if you weren't responsible? Be quiet. Oh, hey, don't do that. Whatever that is, wind, scary wind outside the house. Be quiet. You are all such ungrateful guests. If you interrupt me anymore, I won't explain it. Everyone stayed silent at Dia's threat. Thank you, finally. In any case, these videos are your first motive. You all seem shaken up to the core, so it seems like it's working perfectly. These videos are of your loved ones, whether it be friends, family, mentors, or even dear acquaintances. They all seem to be in some sort of active danger, don't they? Well, not to worry, because I can guarantee you might be able to save them. However, that guarantee will come at a price of taking a life. I can guarantee in most of your videos, the people in question are alive. Most? Are you saying some of the people in these videos are already... If they're already dead, then there's not much of a point to commit murder, huh? That is a fact. Some of the people in these videos are already dead, unfortunately enough.
but doesn't that uncertainty tug at you? If you have a chance to save them, would you really risk not doing so? Naoki, dead? Did the second person in that video end up killing him? That can't be true. He wouldn't die that easily. It's impossible. If, if he died so easily, then... It would be your fault if they died, wouldn't it? If you take a life here, then you can easily save them. My fault? You... They can't be dead. I refuse to believe they died that easily, you fool. Tell me where they are. Tell me what happened to them. Daisaku rushed towards Dia, his hand formed into a fist. Daisaku, don't! Daisaku, no! Crap, you bastard, don't be so fucking idiotic! Shuki and Mom rushed towards Daisaku to hold him back. He was seconds away from judging Dia. God damn it, let me go! Let me. Dia grabbed Daisaku's cheek and pulled him forward. Do you really want to die that much? You barely got out of death the first time. I recommend not risking it again. I can't heal your injuries a second time, you know. You aren't some goddamn immortal. You're just a weak and helpless person whose recklessness and paranoia only hurts everybody around you. Do you really want to be the first to die here? Do you really want to just prove how terrible you are at being of worth to anything except your own futile mindset? I... I thought so. What the hell? Anyways, my beloved guests, I bid you farewell. Have fun committing murder, and just call my marvelous name three times in a row to get my assistance. Wait, Nia. Hmm? Answer me this. Would destroying the modern videos count as breaking the rules? Is it that obvious? It's my property, so breaking it is a definite violation. So I say go ahead, though. Much funner to have a bloodbath occur quickly. Next question. If you were to put a lock on any door, would breaking that lock count as a rule violation? Again, the luck would be a property of mine, so yes. I do wonder, what is this guest of mine planning? I'll discuss with you later on, if you listen to my request. Oh my, you must be planning something devilish. This is very exhilarating stuff. I can't guarantee I'll listen to whatever request you have, but tell me anyways, I might just surprise you. Understood. And if there are no more questions, I'll see all of you wonderful guests later. In a moment, Dia vanished. What are we going to do? I want to believe that nobody will die because of something like this, but how can I fully believe it? Even if this motive doesn't work, Dia will just add more motives to the pile, won't they? No matter what we do, no matter what plans we think of, we can't leave without somebody dying. And I know well enough I'd be the easiest target for a victim here. What the hell do we do, damn it? Even somebody such as myself may be powerless here, damn it. This is a cruel place, but it doesn't matter. We'll stay here for the rest of our lives, won't we? Our families, what's going to happen to them? Everyone, I, please calm down. I, I assure you, there must be some way we can escape. I truly doubt that it's that easy. Huh? Daisaku, answer a question for me. What? What was in your video? I don't have to tell you. Fine. Everybody, I have a small idea. I will attempt to have it finished by tonight if Dia collaborates. And Subaki? Yeah? I will check your room. I must confirm if you were indeed telling the truth about you not receiving a video. Yeah, sure, out of mind. Wait, but why did Sabaki get a video in the first place? If she indeed didn't, that doesn't make her suspicious, perhaps even more so than Daisaku. You fools, I... Please do not suspect Sabaki. I know why she did not receive one. You do? I can make an accurate conclusion at the very least from what you told me yesterday. Mayumi turned to the rest of us. Everyone, Subaki may be a thief, but I assure you, she is a good person. It shall not be right to suspect her. I am not at liberty to tell you why she is unlikely to be a suspect of any wrongdoing, as it is her own freedom to tell. Thanks, Mayumi. But if your hot shots knowing stops me from being accused, I'm guessing it's because I don't really have any family or friends back home. <laughs> yeah. Acquaintances? Sure. Sworn enemies? You bet I do. People I would sit down with for a nice conversation? Not on the menu. I see that I may explain it, Dia wouldn't have much material for a video if the centerpiece doesn't exist. Soren Bank being a suspect for a traitor? Ludicrous, all of you. And you, Daisaku. What? Chiyuki Hikari, you two discussed with Daisaku the day prior, did you not? Indeed, why do you ask? I think you two owed Fuyuka some details. Good point. It is true I never received any information about what occurred after you two left. What did Daisaku say to the two of you? Oh. Chiyuki and I exchanged glances, we promised not to tell anybody of Daisaku's struggles, and so... I am inclined to believe in Daisaku. 
he is not a traitor. I agree, he, he did make a mistake, yeah, but he didn't know that it would lead to all of this. We don't even have any real proof that any of us are responsible for any of this, do we? Hikari is correct, we must believe in each other as much as possible for our current circumstances. We must not simply guess and assume an individual's motive simply due to a fact that may seem strange without context. So for now, I propose we do not suspect anybody of traitors' actions. We must work together as one and be positive. I completely disagree. <laughs> huh? However, Fuga glared at Daisaka for a moment before sighing. I will respect your thoughts. Though I do have my suspicions, it would be unwise to act on them without concrete proof. You're right on that regard, despite your incomprehensible behavior. <laughs> I am glad. In any case, Subaki and I went to her room to investigate. Everybody else resumed doing what you usually do. Keep an eye out for anything suspicious and inform me immediately if you see anything wrong. Goodbye. Oh wait, what the hell? Don't do that. Okay, okay, okay. Looks good, looks good. Ooh, okay. Fuyuka motioned for Sabaki to follow her and headed out of the ballroom. Please be careful, Sabaki. Don't worry about me. I can handle myself just fine. You should be a heroine for all the others here, shouldn't you? Save the world, Knight. Then we can talk. I understand. Sabaki then headed out of the ballroom as well. All of us were left in silence for quite some time. Everyone, may I ask a question that will seem strange? I mean, there's nobody stopping you, Minty. We've got a fuck ton of shitheads here, so chances are you have the saddest question possible in a place like this. I suppose so, but it may sound like an inappropriate question for our current circumstances. I just wish to know if anybody knows how to play an instrument. I do. Strange was right. What relevance does that have? Maybe she uh, wants to lift the tent, sir. I don't see how a question can do that so easily, though. Hear her out. There must be some reason she brought it up, right? There is indeed, but it will not be beneficial to elucidate more if there is nobody who knows. I am capable of playing the violin quite well, I believe. Is that suitable enough for you? Yes, quite. I'm not the most experienced, but I know how to play piano. I see, it is alright. A lot of experience does not matter in this particular idea of mine. Are you planning a concert, Minty? I really doubt that would fucking go with- I volunteer, Minty. I will show my true power amongst these mortals with my extraordinary drumming skills. Don't interrupt me, you little shit. Extraordinary? Are you saying they're not out of this world? Well, they're out of this world in a sense. Wait, are they right, Chiyuki? Are you planning a concert? Well, yes, yes I am. If Fuyuka didn't leave, we'd have a victim here already. Huh? Quite frankly, she says something like, Are you fools really planning to risk your lives by being in an environment perfect for murder? And I don't entirely disagree. A crowded area may seem like the worst place to commit murder initially, but the chaos will make it easier to place blame on each other and get rid of clues pointing towards you. Quite right. Nobody would think calmly and investigate in such a scenario, would they? Especially with how often you all waste your time trying to be buddy-buddy. I understand your point, but I believe in everyone here. Nobody would commit murder during a concert. I'm not sure if I can be so sure of that. I'm not sure if anybody would avoid pulling any bullshit during it. I'm not sure either way, Chiyuki. But... You fools! Holy shit! Character development! Huh? There's no point in speculating what will and won't happen. If any of you dastardly fools commit murder, it will not be the blame of anybody except yourselves. Utazumi here is thinking of some goddamn plan to keep up the group's spirits, but the rest of you? If you don't like your plan, then get off of your sorry asses and make a better one. You should be grateful that somebody like Utazumi is taking initiative while the rest of you stand around and wait to die. Daisaku? ah, uh, Daisaku defeated Chiyuki? That's odd, especially coming from him. That's called character development. <laughs> at, at first he wasn't, but then because Shiyuki didn't give gave up on Daisaku, then logically it would make sense that Daisaku would be like, you know what? Stop talking shit about Shiyuki. She's a good person, god damn it. And that's and Corpse Party never <laughs> Character development, logical scenarios, chain effects, cause and effect. And that's something that Corpse Party doesn't have. Fuck that game. <laughs> I hate that game so much. It sucks. Surprisingly, I agree with that statement. Waiting around and doing nothing is not a better option. Yeah, a concert will help us keep positive too, won't it? And nobody could commit a murder while us warriors are brave enough to fight back against the evil deer. So I say we should go for it. Heh, <laughs> still as optimistic as ever, aren't you? 
well, um, if it'll help people feel better, I'm not entirely opposed to the idea. Out my back, god damn it! Why? I need, I need something. I'm not slouching, right? Or am I not aware that I'm slouching? God damn it! I'm a little cautious, but it may just be paranoia talking. I'm with Kihara. Even I get a little tired of tragedy and death, so shaking things up a little is bound to be exciting. Though I don't fully agree, I won't be opposed to it. As you should, Chiyuki's music is a blessing to the ears of all people on this earth. You've said it a lot, so I guess we'll have to see, huh? Thank you, everyone. Is anybody still unsure about the idea? I don't know how to feel, but um, I'll just go with whatever the majority says, I guess. Go with the flow. Not to worry, Ryu. If any danger arises, I shall protect you and everyone here. I may not call myself a heroine if I do any less. I will do the same. I aim for no casualties during the concert. You really are dedicated to that crap with optimism and positivity, aren't you, Minty? I know I am able to believe in everyone here, Cherry, including you, despite your rebellious aesthetic. Aesthetic? I'll have you know these scars are real. I mean, you're obviously a bodybuilder for a reason, but are you sure the scars are real? Yes, I'm pretty fucking sure. If you want to fight me and see how real scars can fucking get, then come over here, you piece of shit. <laughs> Anyways. I'm Daisaku, Mayumi, Colette. Let us meet in a few hours to plan out what we should do around noon. Oh, I guess I can't fight old Cherry then. Not yet, at least. If you fools started throwing fists already, then this entire plan would be pointless. A few people had a bit more back and forth, my own often being the victim of Colette's words. <laughs> but after a bit more talking, everyone set out of their plans for the day and went their separate ways. I returned to my room. Will Chiyuki's plan really work? Nope. Uh, uh, murder. <laughs> Body discovery announcement. I want to believe that nobody will commit murder, that nobody would hurt me, or anybody else, but... I know well enough that people can be violent when angry enough. <laughs> My brother is probably Schrodinger's brother. He may or may not be dead. <laughs> I have some time to kill. Maybe I should see what I can do. Uh, let's see. What time is it? I still go. I still. I can still go on for you a few minutes. A few minutes more. Living room. You. You. you remind me a little bit of uh, the wild card. Um, like. Nag. What was his name? Na Nagito. Uh, Nagito, the other guy from V3, uh, the liar, and uh, the glass guy from Dragon Rumpel One. So they're all doing the band thingy. You're here alone again. Nobody's in the bath. Nobody. Nobody wants to hang out in the laundry. The laundry room looks great. What the hell? We got three here. Technology room. Ah, we're done with that. Maybe I should go for. Yeah, I like her. Do you want to hang out with Mountain? Yep. What? What? Why the hell do you want to hang out? Ron spent some time questioning my motives for wanting to hang out. I don't think because I'm desperate for people to like me could really sound like a good reason. I think Maon and I have gotten a little closer today. What do you want, shortcake? N nothing in particular. I just wanted to get to know you, I guess. That's a shitty reason to come up to me. I'm not here to be making friends, dumbass. We're in a death game and at a random mansion with a killer robot. I don't think any of us are here for anything. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I meant. Sorry, I understand if I'm just bothering you. I I'll go. You made our self-esteem plummet some more. Again, I'm really sorry. I'll see you later. Wait, why the hell do you look so sad? You didn't actually want to get to know me, did you? Huh? I actually did. I like getting to understand the people around me, I guess. But really, if you don't want me to hang around you, I... So you don't need me to do something for you? Not to write you something? Give you advice? Defend you from bullies or whatever? No, why would I need any of that? Because the only reasons people talk to me are to get something from me or to criticize me for being vulgar and rude. I mean, obviously, I am kind of rude, but I don't see why calling me out on that shit is fucking productive at all. Well, you don't have to worry. If I ask anything out of anybody, there's a 90% chance I'll feel guilty immediately later. Then I guess I'm up for talking or whatever. Just don't be a lame ass and ask me my favorite color or animal shortcake. Favorite dessert? <laughs> Did I just fucking... Uh, sorry, I was just joking. I mean, you do seem a bit fond of giving people food-based nicknames, so I just thought that... Well, don't assume I'm a fucking glutton or something, damn it. I wasn't. I mean, it just makes me curious. Why do you have that kind of habit? 
I haven't had a friendly nickname before, so it might be just be something I'm not experienced with, but still. Hell if I know. Okay, well, I do know, but it's a lame story. I doubt you want to fucking hear that bullshit. Then I guess I'll be lame. <laughs> Why is she so adorable and supportive? She's the perfect girl in the world. What the hell? Why would somebody generally want to be lame? It was more of a way... <laughs> it was more of a way to say I wanted to listen. Uh -huh. Oh, well, crap. Just fucking say so instead of subjecting yourself to self-inflictive insults, dumbass. Well, I'm already being insulted enough, so it's fine. <laughs> Noted. Anyway, I would normally avoid mentioning my past in ballet to anybody, but that ginger asshole kind of fucked up the plan at the beginning. Ginger? Oh, you're talking about Seinasuke, right? Yep, since you already know about how I was a ballerina, I'm already past the point of being judged for a lame-ass hobby like that. Ow, I'm back. Huh? Why would it be lame? From what I've heard, it takes out a consistent practice and being in tune with your body. But then again, if I was a ballerina, I'd probably be kicked out of the group the first lesson. Bullshit. I'd rather be kicked out than be at the start of the group. Back to the nickname thing. My ballet group and I were close at some point. I don't know how it started, but eventually we gave each other food-based nicknames. Oh, I see. We were probably so used to calling them by those kind of nicknames that you just carried the habit ever since. What was your nickname among the group? Ache. Huh? I didn't hear the first part. Up. Up. What's up? Hey, have you heard of Upcake? What's Upcake? Nothing much, you sweet bastard, you. <laughs> uh, flirty pun. Uh, is it a flirt? I don't know. I still didn't hear it. Sorry, my ears must not be working. To Cupcake, damn it. Yeah. It's a dumbass nickname. It makes you cringe just thinking about how you let myself be called that. Is it bad that I'm imagining a little you excitedly being called a cupcake? <laughs> it sounds pretty adorable, especially with how tough you must have gotten since. Yes, it is bad. I'm tough, damn it. I'm not an adorable cupcake. And if you ever fucking doubt that, I swear to God. Okay, okay, no thinking about you as a cupcake. Got it. Damn it, now you got me hungry. I'd give anything to taste Lime's chocolate cupcakes again. Lime? The hell? How'd you know about Lime? You just said the name. <laughs> Wait, are you a fucking stalker like that other bastard? I swear to god, how many creepy ass people are- w Wait a second, you just mentioned somebody named Lime. You said you wanted to have a chocolate cupcake made by them. Dumbass. Huh? Did you say something? What? I said you're a dumbass, not me. I'm not a dumbass. I totally fucking realized what I said. Once again. I just have to say, huh? <laughs> Fuck, just ignore the crap I said. I don't need to remember this bullshit. Are you okay, man? What do you mean by that? I'm fine, damn it! Stop fucking interrogating me. I'm not gonna murder a bastard or a bitch, so don't treat me like I'm a suspect. I didn't even mention a mur- Shut up! Before long, Mal ran away, obviously bothered by something. Who is this lime she mentioned? It must be somebody who was in her ballet group, right? The nickname thing she told me about would definitely fit with lime. I'll ask her next time, if she doesn't yell at me even more, that is. Soon I headed back to my room. Once I passed the time, a few minutes passed by before I received a knock on my door. After a moment, I opened my door to see a familiar face. Uh, hey Ikari. Oh, what's up, Asuka? Nothing much, I just, I'm still worried about Toshi, I guess. He seemed alright this morning, but is it possible he was hiding it, especially considering the videos? Fuck the video, shit, I didn't think of that. He'd be even more fucked up emotionally because of them, wouldn't he? Yeah, my video was scary, but I wouldn't be surprised if anybody else had it worse. My video was fucking terrifying. Who the fuck would do something to an innocent old lady? Old lady? Yeah, just an acquaintance I had back home, free from the other shitty people around there. Her house and the surrounding forest were in flames. I only hope she's alright somewhere out there. Oh god, I hope so too. I'm sorry, Asuka. Anyways, I want your help on checking on Toshi if you don't mind. Oh, why do you need my help though? Didn't I mention how shitty I was at comforting people? I just... You look like the type to be all calm and aware of your emotions, or some shit like that. I mean, God, you went after Chiyuki without hesitation in that first meeting, and you went after Daisaku our first day here. I'm impressed how much you seem to care about some fucking strangers. Oh, uh, thanks. I guess I just get attached to people easily? If you watch a TV show with me, you know how much I cry about characters that have like 5 seconds of screen time total? <laughs> Damn, I haven't really watched TV that much besides some old game shows, so I wouldn't know. That lady was hella good at them, though. 
maybe when I get old, I could be a psychic at knowing like random trivia about a guy that died 50 years ago. That'd be something to brag about, at least. That's a dream, huh? Still competing with others when old and gray. Sounds kind of fun in an odd way. Anyways, to get back on topic, will you help out with the whole thing? I'm not sure how much I'll be of help, but I'll try. Yeah, thanks. Even if you weren't good at the empathy crap, you'd be much better at it than me anyways. With a brief laugh, Asuka headed out of the hallway again and I followed them. Soon enough, they knocked the Toji's door a few times, waited a few moments before it opened up. Oh my, are some fellow warriors here to see their general? Not exactly, we were uh, wondering how you were doing. I'm as courageous as the mightiest warrior to have ever lived, certainly. Are you doubting your general? No, we uh, just thought with the videos you'd be upset. Yeah, the videos were fucking scary, and I haven't seen you come out of your room much at all in the past few days, so... Ha, so you concern for me, worry not. Though the video may have shaken up my bravery for a mere moment, it was not enough to trample over my perseverance. And I've been busy reading a lot the past two days, actually. I mean, I didn't come out of all that much, but I still left my room for stuff like more books and food every often, so... Oh, but surprisingly enough, sometimes when I checked for food, I was granted a miracle. Miracle? Definitely. Why else would food finally show up at my door whenever I needed it? Satoshi doesn't know that the food came from Asuka. Why did he eat it then? So you ate food that appeared out of nowhere. You didn't check it thoroughly or anything? What are you saying? You saw me cook the food for the first time. Why the fuck would I put anything in it? Sorry, I'm not putting suspicion on you. It's just... Ah, so you made the food, Asuka. What a generous and compassionate warrior you are. But uh, it should. I didn't really check the food before eating it at all. It, that was a dumb move, wasn't it? Wait, fuck, that's right. Somebody could have poisoned it if they wanted to. Crap. Gosh, warriors aren't supposed to be this careless. What was I thinking? Hey, uh, don't get down on yourself for crap like that. It was just a mistake. Just be more careful next time, I guess. I, I think I have to end it here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I should stop here. Shoot. There we go. That was Jiko Rompa, Lambs of Isolation. Character development, yes, and it didn't come out of nowhere. Fuck yes, because Carp Spy's stupid fucking writing's bullshit just comes out of fucking nowhere. It's just fucking, wait, why is this happening? Why is this character like this? Why do they act like that? Everything about that fucking game is stupid. This on the other end, great job. So yeah, if you want to try the game for yourselves, it's on itch.io. I can't post the links yet because I'm still a small channel. That's one of the TOS's of the something yada yeah, of YouTube. Anyways, that is all for today. Stay safe and take care of yourselves.